yeah, big deal. Not much though east, nothing coming over the next couple of weeks. We'll talk about how warm it'll be there in a little bit, but another La Nina winter. So it's the pattern of warm air and high pressure, relatively speaking, into the far northern Pacific. And then you have those cooler waters more in towards the central Pacific, typically pushing colder and wetter conditions into like the Great Lakes and the Ohio Valley at times and that kind of like battle zone area. So this is every La Nina since 1950 on the temperature side of things. And notice you get some big variations. You get some ones with major cold north, but major warmth just to the southeast. You get some that are just generally warm. You get some that are generally pretty cool. Um, and there could just be some big contrast. And then you get some that are warmth east, uh, cool west. So it definitely varies a little bit. With this being the third year La Nina, uh-oh, it's pretty challenging because we've only had two or three on record. This is a very rare thing, so you don't have much to go off of. But these are the La Nina conditions here, these colder than normal sea surface temperatures across the equatorial Pacific Ocean. You got the warmth further off. So th these create very pronounced ridges and troughs. And that's what we've seen as we've went throughout the fall time is just setting up in different spots. Not so much of the big temperature swings up and down, but sustained cool or sustained warmth across different regions. How does this normally translate with snowfall? Well, typically La Niña's have above average snowfall across the northern portion of the country by at least a little bit. Might not be too different this year. I think we'll get some moisture and some decent cold at times in through the northern plains, Midwest, Great Lakes at least. 